stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the Republic, the religious hands, one nation, under God, indivisible, under the peace. Mr. Tyndall, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Curtis, Ms. Seidel, administration, faculty, first selectman Max Studis, members of clergy, parents, family, friends, fellow graduates, Welcome to the commencement exercise of the Simsbury High School Class of 2024. Good evening, everyone. My name is Paris Albrecht, and I am honored to serve alongside Alex Cotto as a co-president of the class of 2024. Please join me in giving another round of applause for our soon-to-be graduates. Each and every member of the senior class has a story at Simsbury High School. Our individual stories may have twists, turns, and losses throughout each chapter, but they also include triumphs including the successes we've accomplished together. Regardless of our individual stories, we have always been unified with one another. Our memories and experiences at Simsbury make us uniquely intertwined. No one else on this planet understands the distinct novelty of having the privilege to attend Simsbury High School. Graduates, no matter who we surrounded ourselves with, or the relationships we formed, our memories will always remain connected. However, when we think of high school, we will look back on these years and think not only of our memories, but also of each other. Not just our own stories, 
but the stories we have crafted together. Graduation is usually known as a closing event, but it can be challenging to close the door on a period of time so crucial to the trajectory of our lives, especially when each year holds accomplishments, victories, and pride. However, our commencement is anything but a closing. Our stories and achievements don't stop after we graduate. While we may be closing this chapter of our lives, the story continues. We have endless possibilities in the pages ahead. In these four years, we have grown in unfathomable ways. We have transformed from young teens into full-fledged adults. I encourage you to continue embracing this growth and boundless chances for success in the years to come. Remember the opportunities so fortunately given to you as a student at SHS and use them to surpass expectations, limits, and setbacks. When you call yourself a graduate of Simsbury High School, embody the vision of a graduate traits that Simsbury has bestowed you with. Pursue critical thinking, communicating, and collaborating. Engage in self-directed learning, innovating, and be a global citizen. Take your ideas, thoughts, and future into your own hands. You can't control the wind, but you can adjust your sails. You can change your narrative. Create the world you want to live in. You are the author of your life story. It's yours to shape, mold, and design. Remember, this is not the end of your story, but rather the closing of one chapter and the opening of another. Thank you. In 1985, my dad got in a fight with the most popular boy in school in the corner outside of Mrs. Henry's room. My mom's locker was in the first floor A-wing, near where Mr. Martoccio's room is now. She would check her perm in a mirror she stuck to the inside of the locker door. At a corner in the library, my brother rushed to finish his homework before football practice. And 30 years before my brother played, my aunt cheered at each football game standing on a milk crate with her pom-poms and megaphone. My uncles played hockey on the same rink that I learned to figure skate. At one point, I may have been embarrassed to say it, but I am from Simsbury, Connecticut, and my family is from here too. When I was younger, I wanted nothing more than to leave this town and live somewhere grand and beautiful, like California or London. I was in search of something vaguely more a feeling that I think is felt by most preteens. However, when driving home from my last day of school my junior year, having just completed my chemistry final, I took a left onto West Mountain Road and saw the horses circling each other at Fleming Farm. The large white letters that spelled eggs backwards blurred as I passed. I drove on, shaded by thick branches overhead and rounded the corner near Teuton Hills, the elementary school that I went to the same one my brother went to in 2008, and the same one my father went to in 1973. As I drove on, I saw the homes of old friends where we would build fairy houses and play make-believe together. I passed the streets where I learned to ride my bike and then later drive my car. Turning onto my street, I saw the patch of pavement where I fell off my skateboard and the stump of the tree that fell in the October storm of 2011. I cried on that drive home from my last day of junior year. But I did not cry because I was sad. Actually, I had never been more relieved to finish a year of school in my life. I was crying because I realized that feeling of more that I had been searching for, that place that was grand and beautiful that I had envisioned, could be found in the place I already called home. Going to the schools where my parents and brother went, being in the houses they grew up in, the places they loved, and the corners where they fought. This town is part of my family. It's part of me. 
I don't know why that seems embarrassing to say. I don't know why hating the place you come from seems like the cooler thing to do, but I have come to love my hometown. I love when the town blooms in the spring and suddenly the flower bridge is ablaze with color and beauty. I love seeing the Simsbury celebrate signs that adorn Hot Meadow Street in the wintertime. I love my town in the fall when shades of red and orange and yellow spread across Talcott Mountain. On my last day of junior year, I was crying because I realized my time in the place that raised me was coming to an end. My well-known drive home suddenly felt new. The view of my windshield displayed something entirely beautiful, scenes worth appreciation and attention, despite their familiarity to me. For the first time, the drive past those friends' houses, that elementary school, and those circling horses was more than just my daily commute. On this drive, now with my last chemistry problem having been completed, I have become a senior. To be clear, I am not sad to be graduating. I am happy to move away to college, but I know that once I do, this won't be my town anymore. This town will become the town I grew up in, the schools I used to go to, the memories of our childhoods. Soon we will face blank canvases. Whether you're moving minutes away or time zones away, we are about to face new streets, new schools, and new corners. New places that are empty, waiting for future memories to inhabit them. And as we face our blank canvases, travel foreign roads, and find new commutes, Future generations of Simsbury students will find proof of our work and remnants of our lives. Murals we painted, our names on plaques, and the records we set, displayed on the walls. In the future, when asked about my hometown, I will tell the story of my father's fight, my mother's perm, and all the colors of Talcott Mountain. When I come back here, I will drive down Hot Meadow Street and smile, because every corner means something to me. I will smile because this is the place that raised me. So thank you, Simsbury. Graduates, parents, relatives, and faculty, good afternoon, and congratulations to the Simsbury class of 2024. So here we are, graduates. After years of schooling, you're at its end. All these people are here for you, ready to celebrate the culmination of your accomplishments and to send you off on your next adventure. We have an impressive group of students here. In this crowd, there are state champions in basketball,
particular skier who have sacrificed many long, difficult, and exceedingly frustrating days patiently helping you just so we can see the pride you have to walk up this stage. And with great liberties taken, I would like to say on behalf of them, the effort was worth it. So by all means, I hope you work hard and aim as high as you can. Set lofty goals and do all the things. Go climb the blue glaciers outside Banff. Go see Paris, dream big. But don't lose sight of how you got there and the people who've helped you along the way. And please don't do it for Instagram. I can tell you right now your best the good without the bad. Where there is reward, there will need to be You'll succeed only because you have the discipline to do what's right for you. So let's recap. Work hard, effort is good. That's sound advice. The problem is most days you wake up the mountain and you just can't see the top in sight. Other days you feel like you're going back down. So what happens then? How do you deal with life when all your aims and intentions get pulled out from under you? For that, I have to go to my favorite author, J.R.R. Tolkien. He once wrote, it's the small everyday deeds of ordinary folks that keep darkness at bay small acts of kindness and love. When your life's a mess, and at some point it will feel that way, you'll find it's the appreciation of the little things that can make a difference. It's that cool glass of water someone offers you after a hard day, after a hard day you'll appreciate best. A warm fire after being stuck in the cold, or maybe a friendly voice after feeling alone. It's the smallest bit of encouragement when you really need it that you remember the most. Learn to appreciate the little things so you can get to do the big things. Not every day will be a great celebration, but there's no reason why you can't enjoy accomplishing a small task and take some pride in the work you do each day. So have at it, get started, take on some responsibility, whatever you can manage. Find some joy in the small things in life and learn to live for each day. Maybe call up a friend who's struggling. Look to find your courage when things get tough. Set an example for others and hold your head up high. You'll be amazed at the doors it will open for you. Congratulations again and best of luck, class of 2024.
I would like to start off with a huge congratulations and heartfelt thank you to my peers. I would also like to thank those who helped me reach this moment. The high school faculty, the parents, people of Simsbury, Spark Notes, Khan Academy, Heimler's History on YouTube, and ChatGPT. <laughs> Don't worry, I actually wrote this one. The wise philosopher, Mike Tyson, once said, Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the mouth. For us, our collective punch in the mouth was the COVID-19 pandemic, and our high school and community changed to a dystopian-like state. Masks on, hand sanitizer out. Half of the week, we were at home, 
most likely in bed, learning how to prove that a triangle is actually a triangle. Maybe as freshmen, we were reading, or at least we were assigned to read, an epic story about Odysseus trying to find his way home. As I look back, in many ways, high school was like an odyssey itself. We, as young people, are constantly trying to find who we are and what we call home. High school is about going in as a kid and coming out as an adult. Just as Odysseus changed from the beginning of his story, we too have changed from the beginning of ours. Due to COVID, I and many others found trouble socializing when going back to school. My hair was long, my voice was high, and I was short as could be. And now look at me. Yeah. But actually, look at us. We look great tonight. Yeah. In just a few moments, we will walk across the stage and move our tassels from right to left, a physical change to confirm our graduate status. Similar to our transition to high school and now graduation, Odysseus faced many different settings. Not only did he change, but he became a better person. He no longer desired glory and royalty, so he transformed into a more humble and patient person. In the beginning, he'd boast of his accomplishments to his opponents, but by the end, he learned the value of his family and his kingdom. In many ways, Odysseus's mindset is reflected in the class of 2024 because we always persevered and emerged humble and patient at the same time. We must keep that, yeah. we must keep that, this mentality while going into the next part of our own odysseys. This year and this moment we are presently in is about change. For a guy like me, this is terrifying. <laughs> I've lived in Simsbury my entire life. The biggest change I've ever experienced was transitioning from central school to Latimer Lane. To put it short, I'm not ready for college. It feels like a looming punch. However, I don't think anyone really is or ever was. This uncertainty just exemplifies the diligence of our class. We are prepared for whatever punches come our and whatever punches and changes will come our way. For me, I always go back to the five P's. Proper planning prevents poor performance. I believe that Simsbury has given us all of the materials for proper planning because of our own three P's. Preparation, passion, and personal growth. However, it is up to you to put on the best live performance that anyone has ever seen and raise your fists in preparation. I'll leave you with this. Be Mike Tyson. When you're in the ring, be ready for the punches. Dodge them, take them, counter them, because they'll come flying at you your whole life. Be the prize fighter going for gold. Or you could be Odysseus, traveling, trying to find your kingdom with cyclops, sirens, nymphs, and even gods coming at you from all angles. Roll with the changes and stay true to your roots. Thank you.
Let's give them another round of applause. Good evening, everyone. A grateful thank you is in order for all who make this night happen each year. Thank you to our administrative assistants, especially Paula Elias, our custodial team, and our tech crew. I also wanted to take a moment to say thank you to our amazing staff. Several of our teachers will be retiring this year. Together, these nine retirees have a dedicated um, combination of 130 years of service, much of which was spent making Simsbury and Simsbury High School a special place for their students. Thank you to the following retirees. Peter Evans, social studies teacher. Ken Fisher, music teacher. Paula Garza, school counselor. Elaine Kotler, science teacher. Doug Nielsen, business teacher. Martha O'Rourke, world language teacher. Gail Simon, administrative assistant. Sybil Spooner, special education paraprofessional. And Sue Hayward, better known as Security Sue. Thank you to all of our retirees for their years of service and their passion for supporting children. As I stand here today, I'm filled with immense pride and gratitude. 
This year marks my first graduation as high school principal. It's been a journey filled with lessons, challenges, and countless moments of inspiration. Reflecting on this year, I'm reminded of the timeless wisdom found in Robert Fulgram's essay, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, and how it resonates with the lessons I've learned as your principal. I hope you can take some of these insights with you as you leave Simsbury High School. One lesson from my first year, echoing the words of kindergarten, is the paramount importance of listening. Listening transcends mere hearing. It involves understanding and forging connections with others. Witnessing your senior English classes this fall during the sharing of your college essay assignments and at the recent Poetry Slam this past week, it left me in awe. In both of these experiences, your genuine desire to comprehend and connect through active listening was evident. You shared feedback and commended each other's hard work. As you transition into the next phase of your lives, make it a habit to truly listen, for it is through listening that we attain wisdom and empathy. In kindergarten, we also learned to share everything. This year, I witnessed the dedication and drive of our DECA students as they rebranded and revived our school store, sharing with us the new Trojan market. This endeavor has been a source of school spirit, providing the community with some gear, some snacks, and of course, some meat sticks. In addition, when asked about the legacy that some of our culinary students wanted to leave behind and share with others, a restaurant it was. We got the opportunity to benefit from the amazing work of our new culinary restaurant, Flavor Haven. This team shared their talents and cuisine with countless individuals within our school and greater community. As we venture into the next chapter of our lives, let's remember the importance of sharing our successes and supporting one another through challenges. In kindergarten and throughout life, I've been reminded of the importance of playing fair. We witnessed 38 varsity athletic teams showcase their skill and dedication this year. We also got to see four teams, maybe five tomorrow, win fair and square. Our girls soccer team, girls basketball team, girls rugby team, and boys volleyball teams all took state championships. These wins brought so much pride and joy to our school community. Go Trojans! As you move forward, always strive to be fair. And remember, everyone you meet is fighting their own battles. In a world that can sometimes seem unjust, the principles of fairness are a beacon of hope. Whether in our careers, our relationships, or our communities, let's strive to treat each other with respect and integrity ensuring that fairness guides our actions. In our early years, we were taught to put things back where we found them and clean up our mess. This year, we showcased those initiatives literally and figuratively. The inception of a green team, the addition of vibrant artistic murals on our walls, and the dedication of students to enhance our courtyard showcased the commitment to cleaning SHF up before you leave. These endeavors have instilled a sense of pride and ownership within our school community. Let's commit to take ownership of our actions, recognizing the impact we have on the environment and those around us. Another crucial lesson is perseverance. To say they persevered would be an understatement. One week before the opening of our school musical Guys and Dolls, approximately eight members got COVID, two of which were leads. That did not stop the cast from continuing on. They persevered, relying on trust and humor, and put on an amazing performance. Graduates, as you face future challenges, remember that perseverance is key. Keep pushing forward, even when the path seems daunting, and you will achieve great things. Finally, this year reminded me of the importance of celebrating success, both big and small. Each milestone and achievement deserves recognition. We had the opportunity to come together three times this year as a whole school community at Spirit Rallies 
celebrating our victories with music from our pep band and gospel choir. In addition, we honored students that went to Texas for the robotics competition, to California for the DECA conference, and around the state for music adjudications. We celebrated these and so much more. Today, we celebrate your success, not just in academic achievements, but in your growth as individuals. You have shown resilience, adaptability, and strength, and today is a testament to your hard work and dedication. The lessons we learned in kindergarten and those I've learned in my first year as SHS principal have taught me not only to adapt and grow, but to embrace the feeling of being new and unsure. As you step into your next adventure, whether it's college, a new job, or another path, you will find yourself in unfamiliar territory. Embrace this newness with open arms, because it's in these moments of uncertainty and novelty that we learn the most about ourselves and the world around us. Use this opportunity to explore, ask questions, and grow. As you leave this school, carry the lessons with you. They will guide you, support you, and help you navigate the many paths that lies ahead. To the graduating class of 2024, seize the opportunities that come your way. Confront challenges with unwavering confidence and always remember the solid foundation upon which you stand. Serving as your principal has been a privilege and a joy. Remember the kindergarten words of Robert Fulgram who advises, when you go into the world, watch for traffic, hold hands, and stick together. Congratulations and best wishes for your endeavors ahead. Superintendent Curtis and members of the Simsbury Public Schools Board of Education, I hereby attest that administration has reviewed the academic credentials of the students here today, and they have met all of the requirements for graduation. It is my great honor to present for public recognition of the diplomas, Simsbury High School's Class of 2024. Paris Carter Albrecht. Alex Cotto. Yifan Jang. Vanessa Rose Siriani. Thomas Edward Varadi the third. Jewel Lydia Ivy Alcantara. Amanda Hollis Aldrich. Grayson James Alessio. Huda Muhammad Abdo Al Katabi. Lincoln Graham Alkire. Maxwell Benjamin Allen. Victoria Jimena Alvarez. Zachary Bernard Alvarez. Michael Kweku Ampadu. Thomas Stephen Antonio. Jada Rain Atherton. Charles Ayers. 
Melania Nagina Baranek. Ellery Iris Barcom. Julia Faith Bates. Connor David Basic. Jason Thomas Buford. Mark Anthony Bullier. Jack Barry Beckinsall. Riley Grace Beckinsall. Michael John Bellinger. Maximilian Alexander Berger. Margaret Wilkett Burling. May Giovanna Berateri. Michael Victor Berateri. Travis Ryan Bolognese. Aiden Vito Bono. Caden Christopher Bourne. Daniel Boyd. Paige Olivia Bradley. Scarlett Bella Brocker. William Blue Brocker. Evie May Brown. Kyle Patrick Brown. Allison Taylor Bruno. Milgo Bolali. Caitlin Nicole Burkett. Connor Francis Burnett. Ava Elizabeth Caldera. Aaron Margaret Callahan. Ryan Thomas Caselli. Ella Catherine Senaviva. Alea Ayana Chawa. Olivia Grace Chandler. L. Marion Catherine Chapman. Leo Chen. Wilson Chen. Porna Chandri. Riley Taylor Christensen. Aiden Orion Cohen. Jacob Alexander Cohen. Oswald Caden Cole. Lillian Grace Collies. Kale David Knorton.
Joseph Kanyan Coppinger. Nicholas David Cordani. Rachel Lee Coda. Lillian Emma Cornoyer. Sophie Kathleen Coyle. Daniel James Coyne. Edward James Croak. Jacob Matthew Croto. Maya Haley Curtis. Mikey Victor Da Silva Amoran. Andrew Stephen Daisy. Camille Yvonne Daniels. Sohani Das. Luke Mark Davis. Tenzin Paul Davis. Angelo J. DeMio. Tatum Mackenzie D'Souza. Jaden Matilda DeRozier. Griffin Joseph DeVivo. Andrew Keenan Davini. Ryan James Donahue. Aaron Winters Downen Jr. Aiden John Driscoll. Cooper Michael Dumont. Ava Susan Dunn. Luca Joseph Shea Dwyer. Diana Diakun. Charles Benjamin Elias. Sianna Marie Ennis. Zachary Thomas Fair. Sophia Rose Figueroa. Jalea Sabrina Ford. Olivia Christine Francis. Thomas William Franklin. Lila Grace Frittini. Sonik Tia James. Lauren Nicole Fritz. Camden Prescott Fuller.
Sierra Shenming Gable. Nathaniel Robert Gagliotti. Mason John Gagne. Amanda Ray Gallagher. Jared Lucas Gottmeiden. Jason William George. Anila Noel Gibson. Lucas Carl Gifford. Sophia Rose Glanville. John Ryan Goldberg. Parker David Golden Gerald. Siddharth Reddy Govindu. Alexa Danielle Green. Alessia Greco. Ethan Lee Hennig. Madeline Olia Griggs. Gianna Mary Grillo. Dylan Conrad Grossman. Nate Thomas Grossman. Wyatt Evan Gwynn. Jack Garrett Havigan. Rashawn Lee Hawkins. Sakaya Elaine Estelle Hendricks. Noah Anthony Herbick. Quinn Kelvin Antonio Higgins. Barrett Timothy Hilliard. Ryland Robert Horbel. Jacob House. Alicia Adin Hussein. Brian James Intheson. Jacob Miguel Isabel. Olivia Paige Jarvis. Emma Lynn Johnson. Atulia Rai Katharia. Amanda Michelle Kelly. Natalie Donovan Kelly. Nathan Edward Kelly. Tishani Marie Kelly. 
<laughs> Reina Kendambi. James Kinder. May Knight. Jian Ko. Andrew Henry Cowell. Kate Rose LaFleur. Brooke Michaela Lantieri. Gavin Olav Lida. Benjamin Patrick Levinson. Chanel Egypta Lilburn. Crystal Lynn. Tom Lynn. Stratos Nicholas Livanis. Katie Lynn Loftus. Nicholas John Lombardi. Ryan Thomas Long. Saraya Grace Looney. Tova Lee Lowy. Joshua Eli Lubetkin. Sophia Elizabeth Lucidon. Alexander Francis Lugo. Sophia Isabel Lizetti. John Matthew McKay. Charlotte Ann McQuaddy. Paige Colette Mahoney. Charles Donald Mariano. Lillian Claire Maxillon. Adelie Rose Mannheim. Christina Gaetana Marchetti. Ransom Walker Marcy. Chase Gerard Martin. Connor Nathaniel Martin. Connor Shaw Martinez. Vincent Patrick Mateo. Devin Patrick McArdle. Story McCarty. Riley Jane McCullough. Kate Margaret McNair. Andrew John McRaby. Sarah Elizabeth Medica.
Rachel Ann Medina. Angelia Sky Mealy. Toby Antonio Mendez. Merritt Hemingway Merriman IV. Riley Benjamin Meyer. Brody Andrew Mills. Luke Tannen Montessi. Parker James Moody. Cora May Musser. Ayat Abdu Muthana. Cyrus Anthony Nash. Eowyn Francis Neff. Emily Danielle Ness. Abiel Yasha Nicholas. Tucker Charles Nightingale. Gianna Maria Nigro. Tyler Joseph Norris. Sydney Elizabeth Norwell. Muna Larison Nuafor. Aiden Michael O'Brien. Matthew Robert O'Brien. Kiera Maureen O'Connor. Megan Hannah O'Connor. Dante Joseph Oliveira. Andrew Rayner Orris. Vivian Mary O'Sullivan. Jonathan Otero Martin. Aiden Philip Olet. Jean Sophia Palazzo. Brian Caffrey Palmer. Kaylee Sloan Papagellis. Lauren Elizabeth Papali. Carter Lee Paradise. Brenner William Patrick. Kamani Marcel Patterson. Thomas Jack Perlman. Christian James Peluso. Marina Peravoshikova.
Megan Kathleen Parisi. Ty Michael Petrus. Matthew Thomas Pico. Anderson Clark Pillar. Ryan Thomas Pilon. Samuel Robert Pipledo. David Jeremiah Post. Isabel Sarah Pringle. Sam Puzo. Brady Ryan Quinn. Matthew Charles Raymond. Matthew Gregory Reed Brown. Benjamin Thomas Reynolds. Maeve Grace Reardon. Manuel Rivera. Adrian Abraham Robin Wesley. Jordan Rodriguez. Max Hunter Ronan. Jacob Anton Rosbora. Cameron Taylor Ruzbatsky. Megan Marie Ripsick. Grace Ritzik. Miriam Salta. Maxine Johanna Sampson. Alexandra Elizabeth Shockey. Patrick Shetso. Henry John Shuck. David Jeremiah Skull. Ruby Jane Scudder. Madison Teresa Seymour. Connor Daniel Shaw. Mingwen Cameron Shen. Ava Elizabeth Scheiman. Madison Elizabeth Sinatro. Jack Anthony Singer. Quinsa Noble Sinish. Abigail Joan Slater. Joseph McSorley Smith. 
Mercer William Smith. Tucker James Smoliga. Victor Alexander Soto. Ana Eloisa Melo de Souza. Matthew Jonathan Starr. James Allen Steele. Charles Thomas Steniger. Sarah Supriya Suleiman. Hazel Egypt Siraj. Cameron Jehan Swan. Finley Sylvester. Zachary Sebastian Tartaglia. Isabella Michelle Thompson. Alejandro Antonio Tyndall. Kentaro Joseph Tolls. Daniel Hobbs Toothaker. Sophie Joan Totten. Michella Carolyn Trinks. Elijah John Truentrend. Gina Maria Francesca Travato. Bryson O'Merlin Sockerden. Caroline Elizabeth Tubin. Ginny Mel Tucker. Emma Lale Unsal. Bryce Thomas Van Meter. Tobias Jean Van Wilgen. Alana Marie Vistano. Naya Amari Vasquez. Nathaniel John Verbeck. Trinity Marie Vibber. Chanel Judith Victor. Adam Joseph Vincent. Peyton Lilia Wagner. Sadie Lyon Walker. Mitchell Alexander Wallman. Sean Patrick Walsh. Caitlin Marie Watson. Ariel Madison Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon. 
Tilden Robert Wilder. Colby Aiden Wilhelm. Callan Aaron Wilson. Kevin Michael Winkler. Adam Kyle Winchell. Annie Elizabeth Walmart. Janae Michaela Woods. Ashwina Yoganandan. Erica Alexandra Stravkovich Ivara. Benjamin Paul Zaranza. Christina Jalu Zhang. Jason Anthony Zippoli. Cooper Michael Zuko. Faculty, please stand and exit. Thank you all for attending tonight's ceremony. Families are asked to meet their graduates in the backfield after they exit. The only thing we have left to do is throw our hats in the air! Congratulations, class of 2024!
Thank you.